In Path of Exile, making changes to your loot filter is an inevitable but tiresome experience. It involves tabbing out, loading your filter in Filter Blade, finding the relevant section in the Filter Blade UI, and then saving and syncing everything before you can finally get back to playing the game. This process can easily take minutes for even the simplest change. Nevertheless, it's vital to Path of Exile, as having an optimized loot filter dramatically improves your efficiency and overall enjoyment of the game. So what if there was a way to modify your loot filter as you needed with just a couple mouse clicks, done in mere seconds and seamlessly woven into the Path of Exile gameplay? What if you could make 99% of the changes you'd ever want to make to your item filter without disrupting the flow of your gameplay? That was the vision I had around a year ago, and now I present you Path of Exile Dynamic Loot Filter. In action, it looks like this. The Dynamic Loot Filter tool, or DLF, offers a rich variety of functionality presented in a clean and efficient user interface. Let's start with scrolls. In the early game, they're absolutely essential to have on our filter, but over time, they become less and less useful. With DLF, we can choose what minimum stack sizes to show, increasing these thresholds as we progress through the story and then into mapping. Eventually, we can turn off scrolls entirely for a nice, clean endgame experience. In addition to scrolls, DLF offers full control over currency tiering and stacks. Suppose I no longer want to see single blacksmith sweatstones. I can go to the Find Tier of Currency menu, start typing BLA for blacksmith sweatstone, and find it in Tier 8. Now I can go to the Tier 8 currency box and set the minimum stack size to 2, for example. Applying the change, the single whetstone is gone, while larger stacks remain. But suppose I didn't really want to change the minimum stack size for all T8 currency. In addition to the Find Tier and Set Tier Minimum Stack Size functionality, we can also move currency to a different tier. Here I'll use Chromatic Orbs as an example. I find them in Tier 7, but suppose I want them in Tier 9, which hides all stacks. This is easy to do, and after applying the changes, Chromatic Orbs are now completely hidden. What is the most consistently hated and yet consistently lucrative farming method at every league start? The thing that makes you forget Path of Exile is a game, not a full-time job. Chaos Recipes. People have long been searching for and designing ways to make Chaos Recipes more bearable, and DLF is truly a game changer here. DLF will automatically add color-coded Chaos Recipes for each item slot, and allows you to turn them on and off with just the click of a checkbox. Combine this with a public stash tab scanner that tells you which pieces you need to collect, and Chaos Recipes become a whole lot smoother. Furthermore, it doubles as a convenient way to look for gear upgrades. Suppose my jewelry desperately needs upgrading. I can just turn on rings and amulets and start identifying them. Another common headache in Path of Exile is finding the right flask bases that you need. Either you have to spend a few minutes digging through Filter Blade to find out how to show and hide exactly what you want, or more likely you abandon that thought and end up spending your precious chaos just to buy the usually overpriced flask that you want from another player. With DLF, it takes just a couple seconds to add any flask base type to your filter, and you can get straight back to mapping, knowing that you'll have the flask you need as soon as it drops. Next, the most important element of Path of Exile, maps. DLF offers a hide maps below tier option that you can increase in parallel with your atlas and character progression. Done with white maps? Set it to 6 and all white maps will vanish. Ready for pure max tier mapping? Hide everything below T15 and you've got a nice clean end game. Finally, what if you want to make a change that's not supported by DLF? For example, suppose you're mapping and realize that you're seeing rare jewels but have no use for them whatsoever. Wouldn't it be nice to just hide them? Well, DLF has a solution. DLF actually contains an almost fully functional loot filter item matching engine. That means you can grab that pesky jewel, use Control-C to copy its item text to the clipboard, and ask DLF to find the rule matching your clipboard. It will tell you the rule it found and offer you the option to show or hide that rule. And just like that, jewel gone and you're on your way. There's a bunch more functionality that DLF offers, from quality and RGB items to tiering for div cards, unique items, and more but I'll leave those for you to explore for yourself. If the usefulness of this tool has piqued your interest, please check out the GitHub link to DLF in the video description. The prerequisites are minimal. All you need is AHK, which is basically a requirement for PoE already, and Python 3, which only takes a minute to install if you don't have it already. If you start using DLF now, you have the opportunity to give me your own feedback and suggestions, the things you wish you could do with your loot filter, and actually see those suggestions implemented as I continue to improve DLF. Because my goal is to make DLF support 99% of the changes players want to make to their filters. And in order to do that, I need players like you to tell me what those missing features are. Thanks for watching, and go check out DLF now, the future 
of Path of Exile item filters.